Have you ever tried to play a game of Madden and you just feel like whatever you're doing, you can't get your offense to flow well together? Uh, well, this is a problem that I've had a lot, and that's why I wanted to talk about you, talk, talk about this in today's video. So we're going to be taking a look here at the top three things to avoid when playing offense in Madden 18. And these are, in my opinion, the top three mistakes people make when playing offense in Madden 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, and 12. And I'm sure it will be the same thing in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Again, today's video is, is all about what not to do. And the reason I like making these types of videos is because I think it gives you uh, a glimpse into my heart. And, and my heart, basically, what I really want to communicate to you guys is it's not about what you do. A lot of times it's about what you can eliminate so that you can focus on the things that you choose to do. So the first thing that I would recommend you to avoid doing in Madden 18 is running more than two formations okay and the reason I say two formations is because some people will just continually hammer me and say that you know you have to use multiple formations to win I continue and will always believe that you only really need one good formation um, it's really this concept you want to go an inch wide and a mile deep as opposed to going a mile wide and an inch deep and I stand by that, and, and again, this is why I say only two formations, so um, don't have more than that. So for me, this season, I use the ace pair flex, and I use the shotgun bunch weak. You really don't see me do more than that unless I'm just messing around, trying some, you know, just, just kind of testing some things. When, when I pretty much lock in, I don't run more than two formations, okay? Rarely do I even run two. Uh, when I'm really focused, you'll see I pretty much stay in one or the other. And again, a lot, I see a lot of people will try to run single back doubles into single back wide trips and a wide trips weak hat shotgun. It just, to me, I've never really seen it work well, and, and especially in a competitive level. And, and again, I don't say that to be mean, and I don't say that to, to try to confuse you or anything. I, I say that to try to force you to get to, to realize that you have to be able to focus on the right things and when you have so many formations you can't do that okay just like in life if you're trying to email someone talk on the phone watch a video and eat your dinner all at the same time it's just not gonna work very well so you gotta take it one step at a time the second thing that I recommend you not to do in Madden 18 is have plays have plays from the same formation that don't have the same motion. This is something I think I did really well this year. The mo the majority of my plays, what, what some people do is this. So if they're running verticals, you will see some people, and it's, just kind of think about this big picture. They'll So the, the play they really want to run is Z-Spot, right? And we all know the setup for Z-Spot by now. I've talked about it at, at length. And, and so they're going to run Z-Spot. So they mo they're, to run Z-Spot, you motion Dez out to the outside, you wait until he sets, and then you go and, and you just kill people with this delayed slant. But then what they'll do is they'll do this. They'll motion Cole Beasley to the right side, and they'll do something like this and kind of create a smash concept or, you know, just whatever. Uh, and again, this applies to more than just a bunch. What I'm saying is... Do not have multiple plays in the formation that do not have the same motion. Okay, so you'll see every play from this formation verticals has the same motion. Does to the outside, it's exactly the same. And the reason that I'm so adamant on this is because what's going to happen is you probably think, well, I'm going to fool a defensive player. What's what's going to happen is you're going to motion this guy to the right side. You're going to do all your hot routes. And then what's going to happen is he's going to go user that side, and you're going to be screwed. He's going to be ready for it, trust me. Because why else would you motion Cole Beasley out that side? So some people this year, um, one of the things that they would do is they would do something like this, basically. And they motion him in here like this and kind of create like a little double set. I never understood why you would do that. 
And again, I think when you look at the people that are most successful year to year in Madden, you'll find that the common theme is that they do one thing better than everybody else. So in Madden 13, Problem blitzed out of four six Barrender better than anybody else. In you know, in Madden 25, uh, Tweezy had a really really phenomenal blitz from the nickel two four five, and you can go on and on with that about different players in different eras. But the point is, it's again simple, 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 simple. Keep it consist. Simplicity, consistency are two of the critical words to really kind of hold dear to your heart as you try to look at your scheme in Madden 18. All right, guys, so the last thing that I wanted to touch on is having pl having a play that could be hot routed, but for some reason you want to run it from that formation. So what I'm saying is that what you'll do is you'll see people, they'll go to the doubles formation. And the only reason they're going to go to the doubles formation is because they want to run this route to the running back, this little little table route to the running back. Well, that can be quantified out of other formations that have better plays. So let me let me say that a little bit differently to, to try to clear that up for you. So what I'm trying to get at is what you don't want to do on offense in Madden 18 is confuse yourself more than your opponent, okay? You don't want to confuse yourself more than your opponent. So what happens is people will try to do, again, they try to just do too many things. Um, and so what they'll do is they'll try to outsmart their opponents. So they'll say, okay, well, he's been, he's been you know, kind of running man coverage. So I'm going to motion Zeke out here, and I'm going to try to get a good one-on-one -on -one matchup to take advantage of it. So they're going to drop back, and then they're going to bomb it up. And it'll work every now and then, but... What happens is when you make it so difficult, so what will happen is you'll try to psych yourself out. So you'll read the defense here. You'll say, okay, well, he's in quarters three deep, but he's got this guy on the left side. Um, to me, it says, well, if he's going to blitz, it's going to be off the left side. And so your your standard rule of thumb is to have quick passes right in behind that, just in case he blitzes. And then if not, you have a, a man beater in those out routes. Again, simple, simple routes. So, so what some people will try to do is they'll motion for whatever reason. They just because it's because it was on a YouTube video or because somebody did it in a tournament. It's like they have to do it now. It's like for the skimbo slant. It's like you have to do it no matter what. It's just another route. It's just another route. Okay. People put too much value in plays. Z spot is just another play. The only thing special about Z-Spot is the route to Williams. Everything else is from a bunch formation, and it's all hot routes. Okay? You, again, you don't want to confuse yourself more than your opponent. So don't psych yourself out thinking you have to have these crazy hot routes. You don't. A simple out route can do wonders for your offense. A simple smart route out. So one thing. One thing you can do is something like this. This year, you can do you can you can run this offense right here. So you smart route out Bryant. If they're in cover three, you're throwing to Dez. I threw it a little too early there. I'll show you a good example. So like something like this, you know, this is a simple play. But anyway, if it you know, so there's cover zero. I should have thrown to to X. Dang it! They keep going cover zero to us. But what you want to, what you, what I'm getting at, guys, is, is to don't get bogged down by trying to have the cutest play. At the end of the day, you need to have the best offense. You need to have the best true offense. And offense is more than a playbook. It's more than that. It's more than a system. It is a system, and a system is important. But what's really important is how you execute it under pressure. How you execute it under pressure is what will define you. And so, again. Avoid these three things. Avoid using more than two formations per playbook. Okay, per playbook. So for Pittsburgh, you get two formations, and you've got to pick those two. Denver, you got to pick two formations, and that includes your goal line. The second thing to avoid, um, the, the second thing to avoid is to have motions that aren't consistent. 
So when you're running a formation, you want to motion the same guy to the same spot every single snap. Every single snap. And then the final thing is don't overcomplicate the game. Don't confuse yourself more than your, your opponent. Okay? Trust your system. Trust your offense. And be okay with running simple plays. Because simple always works. Okay, guys? So those are the top three things to avoid in Madden 18 when we're talking about the offensive side of the ball. But let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. What is your not-to-do list in Madden 18? Uh, and specifically, what is your not-to-do list as it pertains to offense in Madden 18? Let me know the answer to that in the comments. And for those of you guys new to the channel, I want to welcome you. I'm so glad that you're here. And please do me and yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button because that way you're going to be joined into the community and now you're going to be able to get access to all of our content that's going to help you take your game from zero to hero uh, 